Hi, welcome to Milk and Honey Heritage Farms, and I'm Heather. Thank you for being here. And so today, um, what I would like to talk about is what is your growing zone, and how many days do you have for growing flowers, vegetables, anything that you want to grow? So I wanted to go over with it with you, um, just in case some people may not know. And so I. Um, at the beginning, when I started planting things, I knew I had a growing zone, but that's all I knew. I didn't know more. So as you grow in learning how to grow different things, you grow and you learn more stuff. That's just normal. So anyways, let me bring you in. Let's see if I can get Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to learn about the garden zone, what garden zone is the zone that you live in, the first frost date and the last frost date, okay? So the first thing that you're going to want to do, let me get all situated and I hope that you can read my writing. It's crooked. I am not used to writing on boards. It's a little blurry. All right, there we go. Okay, so the first thing you're wanna gonna you're going to want to do is use a search engine. Um, however, you do it to look things up, Google or whatever it is that you use, and you're gonna want to search what is my growing zone in zip code, and then you're gonna enter your zip code. Okay. So once you do that, what is my growing zone and zip code, and then put the zip code where you're going to be planting, and then it'll give you the growing zone. And I'm just gonna use my growing zone as an example. Make sure you write it down somewhere. My growing zone is 8B. I'm left-handed, sorry guys. So I wrote it down, 8B. So write yours down. And I know that there's some other areas in the US that are also growing zone 8B, but that doesn't mean that our planting time that's allowed and the things that we wanna plant can grow in different states or different areas, right? So now what you need to do is you need to, to go and you need to look up what is my last frost date for zip code? And then enter your zip code and it'll tell you what your last frost date. My last frost date is November, or sorry, did I say that right? Yeah, my last frost date is April 30th. You know. So I'm gonna write down April 30th which is my birthday. I'm gonna be 21 again. Just kidding. Anyway, so you wanna do your last frost date, which will be sometime this spring. Write it down. And then next, number three, is you're gonna write down, or look up, sorry, what is my first frost date for your zip code that you're planting in? And mine is November 1st. These aren't going to necessarily be the same for you. Write down that date as well. So then you can go on to a calendar and figure out how many days are from your last frost date to your first frost date. So then what you'll do is you'll add all those total days up to see how many days you have for growing. And that's important to know how many days you have to grow because when you look on a pack of seeds, it'll tell you it takes this amount of time for these seeds or this plant to um, fully ripen and be ready to harvest. And if you don't have enough days for that particular item, you might want to look for something different. So I have, just to write it down and show you, 184 days from my last frost date 
to my first frost date. That means from the spring until this fall and see some plants can grow well with a little bit of frost, but some plants can't. So I have 184 days and I'm gonna to wanna to make sure that whatever I'm planting can grow in my zone for my zip code and that it can also grow within the 184 days that I have in my area. So there's an idea of what that looks like. Um, you can also go to the USDA plant hardiness map that can help you as well um, navigate this information. And I wanted to show you, I've got some, um, a seed packet here. Let me get to a spot where it's not distracting. Focus. Sorry guys. Anyways, <laughs> I'll just take it off of there and I'll leave it there. All right, so these are sweet uh, California Wonder Peppers and it says that um, it takes 75 days for um, these to be ready to harvest. So um, I definitely, with my 184 days I have for my planting time, um, have enough time to plant these. So that's really cool. Sometimes you can um, plant things twice as long as it fits in, like say these uh, California Wonder Peppers. If I wanted to plant them at the beginning, like April 30th, um, I have 75 days moving forward from April 30th. And then if I wanted to plant a second round, meaning that I can get more seeds later on or more um, harvest after the first planting, then I can calculate backwards from November 1st back the 75 days it takes. And so somewhere in between there, um, you just have to do the math, write it down. Um, sometimes it's helpful to use a, ca a calendar to write down when to plant things. Another good thing to remember when you're planting things is this date for me, April 30th, does not mean that exactly that day I'm going to take all my seed starts or even if you buy plants from somewhere else. Do not plant them in the ground on that exact date. You need to watch the weather because there can be freezes and if you are too much rain or something I know that in our area um, a lot of people plant things right on that date and then their seeds either freeze or get drowned out with too much rain so you got to watch the weather so planting can be you know a week or two before or a week or two after and then again at the end of the season whatever that is for you um, mine's November 1st I gotta watch the weather like a couple weeks before all the way up to here in case I need to pull any plants out or save any vegetables that, you know, like say tomatoes might not be fully ripe. I might be getting a freeze before that November 1st date and I'm gonna need to pull all my tomatoes even if they're still green because if I leave them out there, they're gonna get cracked. So I hope this was helpful for you seen um, this you may already know if not there you go I hope it helps you um, to get an idea and I did a little art so there you are hopefully that's helpful if you have any questions I'll try to help um, I hope you have a beautiful day and and try to grow keep growing do all the great things we need to grow because it's just, it tastes so much better. Trust me. Anyways, I'll talk to you next time. Have a great day.